Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Ultros, where today we're headed for a new Shamasal and we're bringing the network with us. I'm sure we're going to end up planting like a Sprogan or something here. Um, let's wait until we know what we're trying to connect to before we make any planting decisions. Also, I'm going to assume I don't have, yeah, of course, I don't have any idea where the compost would be in this area. We've never been here before. Let's get caught on purpose. What does it do? Okay, just slams the door. Is this a thing that resets over time, or do I need to leave the room? Looks like it's probably a leave the room sort of deal. Alright, yep, that did indeed do it. Okay, now we know. Out of curiosity. Hold on. Nope. Doesn't seem like we can injure it. Little bit of stealth gameplay. I wonder if the plant life can interfere with it in any way. Okay, so that's just sweeping the area under it. So there's one in the roof there, but it's just deactivated for the moment. I wonder why. Yeah, see, this is the place where you think uh, some plant life might be actually pretty helpful. It would seem like you're not going to get a lot of value out of um, out of growing anything up the wall, but you could grow like let me let me try something here. Let's see if this works the way I want it to. Yeah, pretty good. Thanks, Moomin. Unfortunately, it grew its fruit in a place where we cannot possibly interact with it. And welcome to the Pantheon of the Stars. That is a great big eyeball in the background there. Man, this game has some stuff going on, huh? So, as far as getting the signal to follow us, um, I feel like it'd be tricky to get it through this room. We may find another way to, to back connect yet, though. I'm not going to stress about it just yet. Oh, up, get up, there we go. Here's the dance party. Oh. Who is this? Ah, dearly beloved audience, a new contestant has arrived. Welcome, challenger, to the Pantheon, where anyone can become a star. Pilgrims, sojourners, and spacewalkers alike, our fantastic games await whoever wants to prove themselves. Okay, well, I'm just going to keep moving because your friends there are disinclined to do violence to me. Yeah, if the enemies aren't feeling hostile to you, this area is pretty easy to just walk through. Hey, you want a berry? Alright, cool. <clears throat> And to be honest with you, I wouldn't feel like there would be any soil here, so. But maybe they'll maybe they'll make something growable. Interesting. I wonder if we can get this one to eat or if it's too um, occupied with its game. 
<clears throat> Seems pretty focused. Okay, so I mean, I don't know, lighting it up, lighting it up in our colors doesn't seem to accomplish anything. The friend did eat while we were comboing though, that's cool. Hey now. My body is rotting, my mind is weary. Can we contain the demon? Can I? We all stand with Beria. So why not let spirit and science work together? Let our knowledge merge through this tissue. People stopped coming to the temple for worshipping. What made their behavior change? Threading electrode-studded stents through blood vessels leading to the brain, we connect the tissue to the equipment of science. It needs more data. It craves it. it. Tries to merge with the incubator. Like a parasite wanting independence, becoming a host. Not a hundred percent sure I'm so clear on the uh, divide between science and not science as this uh, this person seems to be. Some people wanna some people wanna try to draw like this really this really clear delineation between like things of science and things of intuition, but I just don't know that that's real. Especially when you consider how many of our greatest scientific uh, discoveries have been made. It's just like... The human brain is not one but many wondrous, horrible things. Okay, place to grow stuff. This is interesting. As expected, our first game has attracted quite a stray queue. My guess is you won't get in for quite some time. Well, unless you skip ahead, of course. Maybe you'll find a way to appeal to their hearts, ha! Huh. Okay, so stray, skip, and hearts were highlighted there. Yo, that's, um... Hmm. So what do you call it? A staccata up there. Right? It was, it was, oh no, sorry, it was Q, skip, hearts. Uh, well, I do love to appeal to their hearts. Here, this one's for you. Oh, no. Hey. Be nice to each other. Look, there's plenty of food for everybody. Wait, there was a, there was an interactable there. Huh. While I was jumping over them, there was an R briefly. I wonder if it was a, a backstab. And notice the staccati is gone from the, the roof there. That's awfully strange. Yeah, no, it is just actually gone. Hmm. Okay. Contestants, prepare for Juggle Ball! Juggle the ball until it's all your color, then smash it into the goal. All right, well, we prepped already. Sorry, dude. I have a vertical that is... Oh, sorry, I'm not trying to murder you, I swear. Oh, right, I forgot. Jump striking the ball for some reason um, knocks it downward, which doesn't make any sense at all. Okay. Good enough. Uh oh.
I jumped, I attacked way early there, but this seems, I don't know, okay, he will sometimes jump high enough to to beat the uh, the vertical attack to the to the hit. Oh shoot, that was supposed to be a vertical. That would uh, that would absolutely have scored if I'd done it right. There we go. Well, I kind of thought that was what was going to happen. We have a winner. Please advance to the next room. This is terrible. I am going to devour your larvae, obviously. I'm sure they would want me to. Wouldn't want it to just go to waste. Oh, hello, a wilding seed. Unlike its conifer siblings, the wilding seeds do not require moist stratification as a signal to germinate. They do, however, lie dormant for a short period. Majestic and robust as its uh, apical meristem carries a remarka uh, remarkably concentrated type of cytoplasm. Apical meristem? This I'm not familiar. <laughs> Wilding goes through my mind. Well, let's hope not, like, super literally. Okay, so this is what was growing over there. So if I plant it here... I should expect not to see a huge amount of stuff happen right away. Is that? Am I interpreting that correctly? I don't know. It's growing. That's interesting. So it just grows straight out into the into a surface in front of it where it produces a connection node. I mean, I kind of want to just. Does it do anything over here? Okay, it produces another connection node on the other side. That's very cool. Like we like we theorized the root system of the Yod Yog maybe is doing. So this would seem to go into a space where there shouldn't be a room. Hmm, I'm very curious about that. Well, I guess we don't have to be curious, do we? We can just look. Yeah, it sure doesn't... It, like, it seems like there's legitimately nothing here. Yeah, weird. Why even represent a gap, then? Okay, well, whatever. Oop, that's inconvenient. What I meant to do, I meant to do this. Oh, that's like a that's a hard wall. I didn't realize. Oh, sorry. No, you're right. That was rude. I was trying to pierce the wall. I guess I did, in a way, pierce the wall. Another game. Our challenger enters the gauntlet. It's all very straightforward. Just hit all the buttons to go through. Just hit all the buttons. Ow. Okay. Ah! Too much delay. Well, we still have health regen. We have a winner. Please advance to the next room. That is a small enough amount of damage that you absolutely could just brute force that without the regen, though. Maybe I should have taken that wilding seed back from that area down there. In fact, I definitely should. there's no way it's going to be valuable for it to be in that location because it, any any signal that could get to there can just get to the pod ow fuck okay well that's interesting 
I was kind of expecting that to just be like a background. Nope. Okay. So those produce an object that can be smashed around. Oh, I wonder. Here we go. I wonder if because this thing is plant life, I wonder if the point is that you can use it to, oh, if you hit it enough, it turns into a fruit. A peel-like tart exocarp wrapped around a soft, buttery internal composition. A drift among the wheels of fortune. Okay, what I was thinking was maybe we could, you know, kick it up here with our, um, with our bicycle kick and break the gears with it, but I guess that's not probably what the intent is. Huh. Another one of these. Weird. I don't have any mycelia, do I? No. Okay, we'll just hold on to our, um, all of our foods and stuff then. I don't know if there's anything in particular that I would want to unlock except to, uh, to lay down new, new mycelia. Okay, seems like nothing in the corner. Lots of places to plant things. Not 100% sure what I would want to plant yet. Now, get ready for a block match. Align blocks of the same color in rows of three to score points. Simple as that. So it sounds very simple. Ah. Okay, so I can push blocks off the side. Yeah, and they become dangerous. I see, I see, I see. Ow. Okay, I can bounce them. And if they bounce a certain number of times, I don't know. So let's knock this out and then knock this out. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can hit them again. Uh, damn it. Check that out. Nothing terribly special for it, really. Okay, matching the matching the red block. Oh, I, sh I did that in the wrong order. Shoot. Well, we got a big yellow match, at least, or a blue match, rather. Yeah, okay. And we can, we can score matches on the... Uh, so push this out, then this out. We have a winner. Please advance to the next room. All these little mini games. This really, really, really reminds me of the um, game show sequence in Flashback. Although I don't know why. It's not like that's the only other game to have a flashback sequence. There's just something about the... Um, the presentation of it and the compression of your ordinary forms of violence into it and stuff. I don't know. You want some food? Yeah, they don't, they don't really feed you around here, do they? Okay, well, you don't like that. It wasn't really for you. These ones like meat, right? Ah. I'm trying to feed you. Stop throwing my food. All right, there we go. Okay, I can just I can just talk to them. That's what the R prompt was before. You can just say howdy, which is not a thing you can do in other places. Oh, damn it. Clumsy. All right, well, I don't think I can get back out, so I guess we're doing this. Our challenger enters the gauntlet. It's all for, yeah, okay, it's a new gauntlet. So you just made a second gauntlet. You didn't even give it a cool name or anything. Tried to play at my feet and just punch the, uh, punch the projectile out of the way. Ugh, 
I always forget that that forces a, uh, a knockback on you. Ow. Do to approach this thing laterally like this. Except, ah, damn it. Ah, uh, maybe. No, I don't think I can get high enough without. There we go. I'll just do the same thing on the other side. Easy. That would have been fine if I hadn't started my attack early. We have a winner, advance, etc. Yep, here's a here's a moussaka. Here's some delicious moussaka. Not like moussaka, but you, but you know what I mean. Here's a different thing. It's called space moussaka. Okay, that's what I thought. It looks like there's a layer of uh, solid rock in front of it, but I had to check. What is this? It's just a floating green eye, and it's closed. May as well refill here. There are a lot of stasis pods in this area. Okay, interesting. I'm not supposed to be here. Oh, I don't like that at all. Um, not what I meant to do. Wow, this area is awfully pretty. I probably shouldn't have wandered off the guided tour, but we're here now, so let's make the best of it. I guess let's go to the right first. Huh. They sure are making sure we have enough of these seeds. Gosh, you know, I think of myself as a person who's, who's, you know, cool living pretty simply, but I sure wouldn't mind that bedchamber and that bed. Okay, you're not actually hostile. You just, you just look scary. Well, here's a reason to bring the connection up, finally, although it's not clear to me how we would possibly make it all this space. Hold on, that's just a memory. Can I get to that? I don't think so. No, we're nowhere near. All right. Yeah, this is something. So this room is also huge. And I guess this space will probably be more meaningful when we know what these green eye things are for. Jeez. You know? 
I think it's worth it's worth saying like I guess I guess I stop and say it every so often but I really want to like I'm very impressed by what they're doing here with this game in a lot of ways and I don't just mean hey I love bright colors look at all the bright colors although I don't not mean that but like even though none of the systems here are like hugely revolutionary on their own it's not like this is the first game where you where you tend a garden or whatever but like just the way they've woven these unusual verbs into a pretty tried and true formula i just think is really interesting it's i don't know i've been thinking about this game a lot when i'm not playing it i don't think there's any chance we're gonna well actually actually i was not that far off we might be able to do that No. Ah. I think if you jump out of a dash, it seems like you get a little bit of extra speed. It's hard to say exactly. Well, let me try it. Uh, yep, you totally do. Okay, well, I mean, a mycelium is not the worst reward. Oh, never mind, that's the compost map. That's actually a very good reward that I like a lot. All of the compost is way down there. I don't know, like, I wish I had something more, um, more cogent or complete to say about it. I really don't. I just, I just am finding it very interesting. Oh, that doesn't, huh. I was really expecting this to connect through it's weird that this is a dead end <laughs> i mean maybe it's not huh i can't wall jump in this area for some reason yeah okay uh there we go i was gonna say if i can't wall jump and i can't grab this ledge we're in some trouble Okay. I've just never, you know, and aside from the, like, the intellectual parts of it, I don't know that I've ever been in a space in a video game that makes me feel quite the way some of the spaces in this game make me feel. Okay. Sure, we're just, like, unzipping it. That makes sense. I'm trying to do it without injuring the bugs. Oh, interesting. There isn't a way through the last couple of levels. Hmm. I wonder if, um... Nope, there is nowhere obvious to plant a thing. I was wondering if this is something where you might have to have a plant, like, break through for us but I guess not oh there's a there's a thing over there and I almost completely missed it mm, that's pretty high yeah I think I probably would have had to have been positioned correctly as the thing was initially breaking to catch that memory That's a, that's a little unfortunate. Okay, just a stasis pod in a room full of very expensive, very ornate, broken something or other. Weird that there's gobble yarn here.
Okay, well, for what it is for the moment, I suppose. What other game would you... Oh, I should probably... Oh, never mind, never mind. I was going to say I should probably go and uh, apply our mycelium, but that's right, I didn't get a mycelium. I got a compost map, which is all well and good. Now, get ready for... Bl it's block match again. Okay, yep. Listen, they only had an eternity in space. How are they going to think of more than three games? Ow. I guess I can make this work the other way. the wrong block because of the physics of the uh, second attack. This is getting a little um, little challenging. Okay. It is not super clear to me what the meaning of the um, of the sparkly bits is. Right, let's shove this whole row over this way. Is that it? Is it that you get a uh, you get a clear on every kind of block that's out when you destroy a sparkly? It seems like maybe that's it. Yeah. Okay. I mean that's cool. That's useful. Hey, do we get anything for columns? We do. It'd be weird if it didn't work that way, right? So if I jump up here. Wee! Video games! Why did I do that in that order? What was I thinking? Ow. Okay, oh damn. All right. Oh, let's get this blue. Okay. Ah, my cock I'm in. Well, all right. Hey, where'd it go? Oh, it went probably down the hill. As such things would. As we all must, one day. So some of these places to grow things exist so that you can sprout nodes on the other sides of surfaces. That's certainly interesting. We are very far away from a place where we have any use for that knowledge. All right, the compost is probably like down here somewhere. Did I go past it? I did go past I went way past it. Alright, I think we're going to need a more thorough map of the area before we start planting anything. More block match? Yep. Okay. What a weird area. Uh, hey, this is a new color. That's neat. Uh, I guess this is that. Yeah, you, you can keep things from getting too out of hand if you just make sure you're always blowing up sparkly ones.
Also, it seems like really non-trivial to hit the top row here. That's weird. Things don't always fall the way I would expect. Oops, that's not what I was trying to do. Uh, I guess it's fine. We'll just blow those off. There doesn't seem to be any combo mechanic. I appreciate that at least. There's no, like, uh, I'm not ruining anything by playing kind of slowly. Say this is gonna be a tough one to finish off without getting hit. All right, I think that's it. I have to say, it's a it's a, a cool, fun, unique little challenge when it's unique. When you have to do it a bunch, it gets less charming. So there is something in the roof here. Oh yeah, okay, I almost reached that. Let me try like jumping across the barrier. Oh, that was very close. Oh, I think I had that. Maybe you just can't grab onto the edge of this. Yeah, maybe not. Doesn't seem like you can grab onto that either. So yeah, maybe this is a thing you're intended to just enter from above. How does one enter that? Somewhere around here, hmm. I don't know. There might be a way to enter this from here, but maybe you have to enter it from that side. I don't know. This area could wrap around in a whole bizarre way. I guess, yeah, let's just keep going for the moment. It's just so hard to see an entrance and not go that way. <laughs> what do you mean I can't map that? Okay, this is Juggle Ball, but against a more dangerous opponent. Sorry about the murder. And also the poisoning. Ugh, get off of me. Yeah, the place where this is really unfair is just that the enemies don't have the ability to juggle basically at all.
Don't love that I only got credit for that first hit, because they definitely hit it twice. Ah, This attack was just tall enough. What a variety. Okay, nothing special going on in this room, but... Compost. Right? Somewhere. Hmm. There we go. So we are very close to the Shamasal at this point. Oh, another juggle ball, and this time we're killing an upper. I just say I feel like it's probably going to be easier to um, to beat the Nopper if it's going to do that thing. So there are probably a lot of situations where we can uh, we can just scoot the ball away from it before it lands. Or where we won't even have to. should do it yeah that thing is that thing's attack set is not built for juggle ball that's for damn sure oh, that's not what I meant to do oh weird I mean I guess it's a welcome reward I don't know what's ahead, but I would like to have the mycelium squarely attached before we potentially walk into a cycle reset or something, right? Uh, the question is, what do we want it attached to? Seems like everything we've got currently unlocked, we have myceliated. Spawning grounds of alien critters appear on the map. I mean, I suppose that could have some utility. I don't know what that utility would be. The ground pound doesn't... I mean, we've never seemed to need it. I don't feel like I need my attack power increased, really. Okay, I mean, this is, this is something that we can't do currently. That nopper fruit's really, uh, really good for you. All right, we'll lock that on, and then just for the sake of maintaining our health regen, let's do that. Okay, this looks new. Adrenaline pumps for our final game. Such determination and commitment have provided us with much valuable data. And watching you die will make for a satisfactory wrap-up. Um? Ow. Okay. 
Okay, a wilding seed. Well, it would seem that they probably want me to use the wilding seed here, right? Damn it. That was interesting, though. I jumped up to try to, um... To try to get over the thing, and I, like, caught on to the seed as it was growing. Darn it. Alright, well, I should eat something. Uh, we have plenty of healthsome food. Look, it's me. I'm dead. Or rather, look, it isn't me. I'm dead. Analysis. Target disintegrated. Initiating sanitation protocol. Is that bad? How bad is that? Um. Okay, I guess I have to let go. I don't feel sanitized. Huh. Spawning grounds. Huh. Thought maybe that would have some effect. So, okay, uh, the, oh, we've been, yeah, we've been here before. There sure are a lot of these seeds laying around. It's a shame we're not going to carry them through to the, um, to the next cycle. Ah. I think something may be wrong with this Shamasal. Let's come back. Okay, so... Connecting is almost certainly going to involve running the signal through Gardener's Garden up to here, right? It would seem like... Maybe we can do it. We haven't gone all the way up yet. Hmm. Very curious what's up there. Feels like a wilding seed is probably not going to be sufficient to cover this distance, but let's give it a try. Yeah, look at that. You have a unique sprite for riding on the end of the wilding seed. Huh. That's really cool. Uh, it's not super relevant to what we're doing here. What do I have in my splicer? Yeah, could I, could I actually do this? Because it seems like if I can place... If I can place this platform just at the edge of this thing, it looks like it'll cover... Yeah, do that, I guess. No, no, don't... But don't tilt upward like that, you asshole. Oh no. Yeah, I can't even get up there. Okay, um... 
How do I recover it now? Hmm. I wonder if I can... Oh, I can't actually grab onto it anymore. Well, the answer is going to be no, so never mind. It's also, in theory, something across there. I'd really like to see these things. Uh, we could try grafting... Thing being bent like that's really awkward. All right, I think I'm just gonna dig this out of the wall. This is definitely not solving the problem. What might? Maybe we could. Where's that one? Yeah, maybe we could use an Ubarba. Let's see how far out this will grow. Okay, that's a pretty good position for that. I want to target, uh, it's really annoying how far down the camera scrolls here because I can't like from a position where I would have the ability to see to target the thing here, I can't tell when I'm targeting the correct area. Okay, that's gotta be it. Yep. Okay, that's not quite what I was going for, but that does give us an opening. And a way back to the beginning. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, do I want to try to figure out what's down here? Well, you know what? The best way to figure out what's down here probably is just to use this thing. All right, I'm going to have to come out lower in the wall to be able to, be able to actually see. Hmm. Doesn't look like anything from this side. What about from over here? Oh, the game's master himself. Well, that's extremely fucking interesting. How could I possibly grow a thing that would affect that? Yeah, it's not going to be something we bring up from here. It's going to be something we bring down from above. But how? Like, what would you graft onto this to make that work? I don't think a knopper is going to quite do it. Is there? Yeah, there's dirt over here that we could use to, to generate some plant parts to try out. Let's give some things a try. A staccati might work. It's going to be a little bit unpredictable. But I guess it's been so effective for us so far. It feels like it would be really foolish not to try it.
Because if like any leaf matter at all works to block the division of the camera, then this might in fact be what we need. Is it generating? Okay, it's not generating bulbs on this side for some reason. Ow, you know, I ran into the thing. I sure did. Okay. So let's go stick a bulb on the other side of the U-bar button and see what happens. Well, for one thing, I noticed it doesn't bend it again. I was kind of hoping it might bend the whole structure downward again and get us better coverage, but... Okay, so yeah, the plant... Ooh, ooh, no, very... In a very strange way, only portions of the plant cover block the... Pl uh, that's definitely not what I was expecting. Let's um, hack another bulb onto there real quick and see if we can't expand the coverage downward. Right now, this would be a fine spot for that to be in. Come on, put a critical piece of plant matter right in front of the camera. Oh, perfect. Oh, that's very good, actually. No, don't slide down. Just stand still on the slope. Howdy. Challenge program concluded. Host puppet dormant. Can I interact with the host puppet? I cannot. Not in any way. This turns out to have been a completely useless thing to do. Except to conclude that the host is a puppet, which... Or, you know, a robot is what I had assumed. Because, like, obviously, given the time scales involved, it would have to be, right? <laughs> okay, well, that being the case, I don't guess there's any reason that this needs to still be around. This part we can leave in place, but that, uh, that particular thing I was right... Well, actually, you know what? Getting rid of this is going to make it easier for me to survive the run over there. Let me just, um... I'm going to reattach this. Yeah, just somewhere in here. Just to dump it off of my um, off of my splice gun. Then we'll take this one back onto the splice gun. And then honestly, we'll probably just remove this from the ground here because I don't want to deal with it. Although, I suppose there's something to be said for leaving it here as a like thing we can come back for. I think that by the time we're coming back here to figure out connections, we'll probably have access to all the seeds we need anyway, but whatever. It's fine. Uh, okay, so. We could just fight that boss and then kill the thing. But y'all know I want to run the connection, right? Y'all y'all know I want to, like... If we don't have to kill the Shamasal before reconnecting it, if we can just go straight to that second thing, that is certainly what I would prefer to do. I think I'm going to try. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend some time messing with this. Um, but y'all don't necessarily need to be here for all of that. So I think this is probably an okay place to call it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time... Uh, either we'll be just about to get that connection flowing or we'll be just about to do all the murders that we are capable of doing. And we'll see you then.